Hello students, today we're going over some more practice problems, section 3.2. Here we're identifying as a physical change or a chemical change. So I think I'll just use a big C or a big P to identify them. Right, no, you probably should have written the word out, but if you need to check them, I'll just use a big C or a big P. Moisture of air forms beads of water on a cold window pane. That's a physical change as it's water in both cases. It hasn't changed into new substances. Electric current changes water into hydrogen and oxygen. So going from water to hydrogen and oxygen. So that's a chemical change. You're making new substances. And again here we're making some new substances, changing things, so another chemical change. Mm, shaking together to make salad dressing. In this case we're just mixing these together, making it a physical change. Mm, and here it's bronze, and when it gets done it's still bronze, so there's another physical change. And decomposes is a key word. So that means it's making new stuff. That's always going to be a chemical change. So be able to recognize physical and chemical changes. Okay, number four. A sealed glass tube contains 2.25 grams of copper, 3.32 of sulfur. Mass of the tube and its contents is 18.48. Upon heating, a reaction forms copper to sulfide, CUS. Later on in the year, for second semester sometime, we'll, probably second semester, we'll start learning how to name those things. As copper reacts, only 1.14 grams of copper reacts, particularly at the mass of the two minutes constantly after the reaction completed. So, it's still going to be. 18.48 grams. It said it was a sealed glass tube, so nothing could escape. And we're just looking at the law of conservation of mass. What we started with, we have to end up with. As long as none of it can escape, and we had to seal glass tube, it can't escape. Got another reaction going on here. Calcium hydroxide, ammonium chloride, react to produce these other things. So we got 5 grams of calcium hydroxide and 10 grams of ammonium chloride. So we start with 5.00 grams and 10.00 grams, meaning we have 15.00 grams to start with. And then it's going to produce, it says what was left was 10.27 grams plus some other stuff, which is the mass of the ammonia and the water vapor that went off up into the air. So to figure out that question, we're just going to take the 15 minus 10.27 grams. And that should give us 4.73 grams. Number six, another reaction. So it says we're starting with, I'm going to highlight what we started with in red. We started with barium nitrate and copper sulfate. 
So this is some berry nitrate dissolved in. A, so we start with hundred and twenty point oh oh grams, eight point one five grams, and seventy five point oh oh grams plus a little bit of barium nitrate. And then we're going to end up with some barium sulfate and some copper nitrate. And we ended up with 10.76 grams and 204.44 grams and nothing else. So we ended up with, we can add those, zero. I'll get back to my slide here. There we go. We ended up with, add those together, 215.20 grams. If I come over here, and we're going to have to subtract off what we had here. So I'm going to come back over here and we're going to add that up. 15, 203.15. So we subtract the 203.15 grams. We get 0.05 and 12. So we got 12.05 grams of the barium. nitrate it a number seven another similar reaction so I'll just law of conservation of mass it says we got some sodium hydroxide and some hydrogen chloride gas and then it produces well, the red for the produces, sodium chloride, and water. So, we start with 22.85 grams and 20.82 grams. We're given off 10.85. 29 grams and something else. The sodium chloride is well enough. So you just have to arrange these. Why'd you start with what you end up with? We know everything we started with, so I'll just add those up. And we got 43.67 grams. And we ended up with 10.29 grams. So I'm going to subtract that off. And we got 38.38 grams of the sodium chloride. I'm going to use a symbol for it in the ECM. So that takes care of that little group of practice problems. That's all for now.